Good day everyone and welcome to this module number 7. Before we close the essential test drive on DCNM 11, it is certainly worth to give you a quick overview of uh, Cisco's strategy and visions regarding the evolution of multi-site, multi-domain and multi-cloud for NXOS. Conventionally, the availability zones is the network infrastructure offering high availability to access your data with a full redundant and resilient host and network connectivities. Traditionally, it is delimited into a distinct location and it is designed to be isolated from external failure. The VXN EVPN fabric delimits your fault domain. Hence, in the context of a data center, the network fabric is your availability zone. Nonetheless, it provides the network connectivity toward other availability zones inside the same regions. Thus, you can have multiple availability zones inside the same regions. The network infrastructure Latency and resiliency are designed to afford active workloads between availability zones using the extended layer 2 and layer 3 networks within the same regions with controlled risks. A network management platform like uh, DCNM can be leveraged to automate and operate a region. Nothing prevents you to have multiple regions like uh, region 1 managed by a controller like a DCNM, a DCNM appliance and a region 2 managed by another controller, by another DCNM appliance, right? Can I manage the whole health with one single DCNM? Technically, yes, but you may want to keep the management zone independent from other regions. And let's talk about this in the next slide. Typically, regions are geographically dispersed areas and separated from other areas at layer 3. This is known as a multi-region network connectivity. There is no imperative reason to extend the layer 2 across regions, and that is definitely not a recommendation that we will give you. But technically, nothing prevents you to extend your layer to end-to-end -end across multiple regions, if this is your choice. I just wanted to make this uh, clear. You can run seamlessly a cold migration without the broadcast domain extended across different regions, right? So I, I think we all agree with that. Just wanted to um, uh, clarify this point. Back to the data center network management, DCNM. You thought that you can automatically deploy a multi-site domain using the same DCNM appliance in few clicks. You saw that with model number two. And you can take advantage of all DCNM applications such as the EPL, endpoint locator, the alarms, health monitoring, elastic service automations, etc. for a single or multiple sites. And not covered in this um, DCNM essential overview, but Keep in mind that DCNM allows you to extend your on-premises data center network to a public cloud. And you will see this topic in the DCNM advanced test drive. Nonetheless, it is uh, a best practice to limit the same network management for a single region, even though there are no physical reasons to go beyond the regions, right? If you apply our model discussed previously with uh, multiple regions to a DCNM deployment, you can have one DCNM appliance per region. But you may say you want to control and automate your networks and VRF with the same DCNM appliance across different regions. And that is a good thought, but nothing prevents you to synchronize uh, multiple DCNM uh, instances together from an inter-regions orchestrator. In short, this is something we are doing with SCI multi-site since a long time. We use a multi-site orchestrator for SCI multi-site and uh, SCI uh, multi-cloud. And actually, I called it uh, Nexus Dashboard Orchestrator because MSO now runs on the top of Nexus Dashboard. Names you know, may change in the future when all the applications will run on the top of the Nexus Dashboard. From the orchestrator, you can deploy the network across multiple regions and populate your DCNM databases accordingly. 
And the evolution of the orchestrator is to operate all inter-regions connectivities. A region can be a public cloud too, and uh, from the same orchestrator, you will interconnect data center networks, uh, private clouds and public clouds from a single pane of glass. Uh, and you will maintain on each region using an independent uh, DCNM applications managing your on-prem data center networks or multi-sites uh, within the same regions. This slide can certainly help to better capture the integration of DCNM and Nexus Dashboard Orchestrator. Firstly, both the orchestrator and DCNMs are or will be hosted by the same day two operation uh, platforms called the Nexus uh, Dashboard. Secondly, with the orchestrator from a single pan of glass, you centralize the management and you monitor the state of uh, all interconnected sites and uh, network policies are pushed toward each fabric, including public cloud. And third, from the DCNM appliance, you can still manage site and multi-site uh, domain, obviously. Okay, let's review the key points with the integration of the orchestrator and DCNM 11. One is a centralized orchestrator for any network policies extended to and across different regions. Two, different regions usually imply different teams, so each team continues to operate their network infrastructure inside their regions, including the chain scope, which keeps uh, local inside the regions. The DCNM instances are isolated from a framework point of view, and that provides a solid disaster recovery plan because you want to avoid the cutting of the branch on which you sit whilst you can access the necessary tools to operate the backup site. You also need to think about scalability concerns. A data center management platform runs a lot of processes in the background to maintain an accurate view in the real time for all the states of the fabric components. The compute resources are not infinite. Vu's recommendation is to maintain the hardware and software resources independent from each other regions. Now let's see uh, what's coming. First of all, here is a short summary of what you can review afterwards with the different modules. So with module one, you have seen how DCNM fits into the Cisco intent-based uh, networking and we are the first DCNM 11 overview. Uh, module 2 started to go with the automation functions for the fabric, the networks, as well as the service node insertions. Module 3 covered uh, the external connectivity with layer 2 and layer 3 networks. Module 4 elaborated uh, the concept of uh, policy template and config compliance leveraged by DCNM. Module 5 covered the fabric programming approaches using uh, the DCNM RESTful APIs. Module 6 reviewed all daily operation tools that DCNM embeds natively. And uh, last but not least, uh, this Module 7 that gave you a quick overview of uh, Cisco strategy and visions regarding the, the evolution of uh, multi-site, multi-domain and multi-cloud for NXOS in conjunction with the Nexus dashboard and orchestrator for NXOS. Secondly, what's coming? You will see an advanced DCNM test drive that will be given uh, via uh, a two days uh, WebEx sessions. Uh, the good news is that uh, this advanced test drive will rely on the new version 12 coming uh, soon that runs on the top of um, the Nexus dashboard platforms. However, to facilitate the, the transitions to the version 12 and uh, prior to the uh, advanced test drive, we will deliver the essentials test drive for the version 12. And uh, in the meantime, I let you guess uh, the new name that will be uh, used instead of uh, DCNM 12. Now, um, feel free to run the labs on the um, Cisco dCloud. They are very useful and there are currently two main labs on DCNM 11. One uh, that covers the uh, VXN VPN with um, the classical 
cloud field inputs, uh, multi-site deployment, race APIs, and, and, and much more. And uh, another lab that covers uh, the classic LAN. And um, well, all this said, I want to thank very much all the folks who have been uh, up to these uh, last slides. It has been a real pleasure to build uh, this series of uh, modules covering the essential functions of uh, DCNM 11. I hope you enjoyed uh, this series of uh, modules and I hope uh, uh, you have now a solid understanding of all the functions that you can leverage from um, DCNM 11 to deploy and to operate your modern fabrics or your classic lab. Thank you for watching all these modules.